hygiene. She's very smart. When it comes to working with her hands, she's skilled, multi-skilled. When it comes to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, she's a worldwide evangelist. Help me to welcome our mother. Our mother. Help me to welcome Archbishop Dr. Yuna Guti. seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Bishop Priska, for giving us this pulpit. just want to greet you and love you all together with our bishops, our overseers, and all the wonderful speakers whom God has given us. And also, we welcome our dear, dear, dear sister, uh, we just say Santa, Santa, and we end there. And also, I'm so happy uh, to see our son and our daughter, Dr. Fred Gassese and Grace Gassese, and Dr. Gassese. He is now the chairman of the SEGU. Council, which is the Ezekiel Guti uh, University, and he is the big man in the council of that university, doing a great work uh, to lessen the burden from the apostle and servant of God. And uh, this morning, it's our morning. It's my morning. I was tempted to thank you for the prayers that you prayed for us when we were out in the mission field in Guyana and Trinidad. But I believe I will leave that for tomorrow by God's grace because something has to be birthed now. If we remember the first night when the Apostle and Servant of God stood here, he said two words. He said, all is by faith. And he said, if you believe, if you believe, I don't know whether you heard those words, which means to say, our coming here, we have come, I have personal come for something. But for that something to happen to me that I have come for, I need to have faith. I need to believe, to believe 
the teachings that we are receiving here. And as I believe, I know that I will not go back the same. Personally, I am not going to go back the same. With all the wonderful speakers who were speaking here, uh, they were just the mouthpiece of God. Because God was showing us the right way. I don't know whether you have noticed it. Uh, it used to happen that when we would have women's conference back, 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 way back, we will find the Apostle and Servant of God coming to be with us. And then for all these years, we have been having women's conference. We have not seen him even appearing, even at the door. And now, with this conference, which shows us that if you have eyes to see, it's another dispensation for the, for the present generation that is there. And this present generation has to carry what they are getting from today what they are getting and carry it to the next generation. The generations that were there, they had the apostle and servant of God and then he never came again. And they carried that up to this generation. And now he has come again so that this generation can carry the truth as it is to the next generation. We are not here just to be here. And this theme capable, arise capable and skilled woman in the fear of God is not just a theme but God has a purpose. God has a purpose. Shall we bow our heads and pray? Marete lari daka he shindo. Tawe mbelari nanjo kotiki na marahaya. Labora ande la korari munaha. Wariwe sheke moko ho ni kutahe nae. Taunga he na ho shine. La uke na ria hore na. Ndungwe laruna hesaona. Mangwaya ngwaya na. Liko narabasa ni washaka mbebe. Thank you, Father God. Take over now by your Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, even as I decrease, you increase. Open the mind of our understanding. That we may grasp what you want us to see. And to know, we thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I am not bringing a new thing, but I am continuing from where the other speakers uh, have been speaking. And uh, I would love to for us to go to the scripture of the theme, Acts chapter 16, verse 14 and 15. I pray that I will not jump, but I just want to speak if I can while standing where I am here. 
that if I can't, then I will walk, walk, but I pray that I will not preach. But uh, talk to us. Verse 14. Now, verse 13, and on the Sabbath day we went out of the city to the riverside where prayer was customarily made and we sat down and spoke to the women who met there. Now a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of people from the city of Thyatira where, who worshipped God. The Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. So she persuaded us. What we see in this the chapter of 16 that's where we see if you don't mind do we have a lapel do we have a lapel because this is going to I, I, I play with my hands here if not let, let us have a stand here so that I can just do like this. This is good when you are evangelizing. We see here Paul. He was in Lystra and going throughout through the churches, putting the decrees that they were given in Jerusalem by the elders. And as he was about to go to Bithynia, which is in Asia Minor, the Spirit of God refused him to go, forbade him. And he tried to force himself, but the Spirit of God forbade him again. And as he was sleeping, he was now in Mysia and he was sleeping, he saw a vision of a man who was standing calling to say, come over to Macedonia and help us. And Paul, being the man of God, he listened to his team and they said, let's go. This is where God wants us to go. And they went to Macedonia straight into the colony of Philippi. And when they were there, they did not go anywhere else. They went on a Sabbath day to the riverside where there were women who always gathered there to pray. And among those women, there was one woman who was called, there was one woman who was called Lydia. We are told that Lydia was coming from Thyatira. Thyatira is in Asia. And when the Apostle and Servant of God uh, visited the seven churches uh, that are in Asia, that we read in the book of uh, Revelation, we saw this city called Thyatira. And we're told this is where Lydia was coming from. Going to Philippine in Macedonia to go and do business in that place. Which shows us that 
when the Spirit of God forbade Paul to go to Asia, but go to Macedonia, God had seen this woman called Lydia. This woman called Lydia. God had a purpose with him, with her. We don't know how she came uh, to be a seller of paper and seller of paper, uh, which means she was dealing with very expensive fabrics or a very expensive material that she was uh, dealing with, that she was selling to the people. But we don't know where she came from. I mean, in her life, how she got there. She didn't just walk up and she found herself, she was selling these expensive things. But it shows us that she came, uh, she, was from, she was down there and God raised her. And as she uh, did that, she found herself to be a seller of these expensive materials or fabrics if you want to. But what we want to see in Lydia is that when she was among other women and Paul was speaking to him, to them, God opened her heart to heed, to understand, to grasp the things that, was, that uh, Paul was speaking to them. And Paul, as we understand, he was speaking nothing else. Wherever he went, he talked about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. And I want to believe this is what he was speaking. And God opened the heart of this man, of this woman, to hear, to take heed, to accept, and to believe, and to see it in her spirit and when she saw that we are told that she got baptized i don't think that she got baptized because she was not a believer but i believe she was a believer who was not baptized because it shows us that lydia was a worshiper she worshiped god she worshipped God. And Lydia is a worshipper. She, it shows us that she was faithful to God. And she feared God. And when Paul arrived and God opened her heart to understand everything that Paul was speaking, that led her to be baptized. And when she was baptized, she said, if you have counted me faithful to the Lord and that I have believed, come to my house and stay. We see here that Lydia was not just an ordinary woman. She was faithful to God and she loved God and she feared God. We see here also that she had a warm or overflowing warm hospitality. Because after she was baptized, she called, she persuaded the man of God, together with his team, to come and stay in her house, which shows us that Lydia saw something. She knew how to get her blessings. She knew that if this man will stay in my house, and I minister to God through them, I am going to be blessed. She also 
had a sweet spirit that caused these men of God, when she persuaded them, they could not resist going to her house because she could take and she could not take a no for the answer. There was no, she, you couldn't resist, you couldn't say so. Why? Because I believe she had a sweet spirit in her. This Lydia was not man. This Lydia was a woman. This Lydia, we don't know whether she was married or she was not married. But if she was married, this is what she did. And if she was not married, this is what she did again. So there is no way we can say she did this because she was a single woman, because we are not told whether she was, she was a single woman. And we cannot say she did this because she had a husband, because we are not told whether she had a husband. But whether she had a husband or had no husband, whatever class she was, but she did it. She did it. And why am I saying this? You may be a single woman and you say this is for the married. You may be a married woman and you say this is for the single. But we don't know about this Lydia. Anyway, she fitted both sides. She fitted to be a single woman. She fitted to be a married woman. But being a married woman, God opened her heart to hear the things that Paul was speaking to the women who were around. I don't know how the women who were around understood, but God opened the heart of Lydia. And Lydia never remained an ordinary woman. Lydia had people whom she was employing. In other words, she was an employer because of the textiles that she was selling. She couldn't sell that on her own. She needed help. She was a businesswoman. She was somebody who was very industrious. She was somebody who was skilled and capable. 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 Being skilled and capable, she did not just concentrate in doing business. She was a prayerful woman. She was found in the group of women who were praying by the riverside. Which means to say she did not just concentrate on the business only, but she was also a prayerful woman. We were told about prayer here, which changed our lives. She was, she was a worshiper of God. She was somebody who was very industrious. And as she was like that, people who were in her house, they loved her. They respected her. The workers or the employees whom she had, they looked unto her because she was a good woman. Are we together? Not only that, she was full of wisdom. She was full of wisdom. We can see the wisdom when she called the man of God to come and dwell in, his house, in her house. That was wisdom, to know that if these people come into my home and stay in my home, I'm not going to remain the same. I'm going to rise above where I am. And we see this woman that she 
qualifies or has everything that we had that we have had here at the conference. Lydia was all that, what we had here. Lydia was all that. And Lydia loved the work of God. He loved God. She loved God. She loved God. She loved to minister to the people of God. But knowing that she is ministering to God himself. I want to say to you, I want to say to us, we are here in forward in faith where God has called us. It's not an accident that I am here in forward in faith. It's not an accident, but God saw me before I was even born in my mother's womb. God saw me, and as I was growing, I did not know anything, but when the time was fulfilled, God brought me into forward in faith. And he brought me in forward in faith for a purpose. He brought me for a purpose. He saw that in you and me, there was a jewel. But this jewel was covered in mud. It needed to be cleaned. He saw that in me there was something that God could raise up. He saw that in you there was there was there is something that he can raise up. As I am speaking now. I want to speak to three kinds of people. There is a woman who feels that she is poor. She is a nobody. I don't have anything. It's for, it's for so and so. It's for those. You are poor in so much that when you try to look into your purse, there's not even a, a, what do you call it? A sand. There's not even a sand that can be found there. But God has called you into forward in faith. God has made you to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior so that you can be born again and be born as a child of God. And because God has called you, it shows us that God wants you. God knows you. God is concerned about you. God cares about you. God has something for you. You look at others and you say, I am poor. What can I do? You hear people talking about doing big things and you say, oh, all I know is just to be here and worship God and that's all. I am poor. And uh, as you say, I am poor, you are even feeling pity upon yourself. The other group, you have just come into forward in faith and you are seated doing nothing with your hands but just depending upon the husband. You say, I cannot do it. I want to tell you, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. When God raised up his servant, he had you already in the mind. 
When we read in the history, we will hear where it says, the Lord said, I am blessing you with great blessings so that you can bless many people and raise up the poor. So that you can bless many people and raise up the poor. The poor who were in dust, the poor who had nothing, as poor as I was, as poor as you see yourself to be, God had already seen you and put the blessings in his seven and apostle so that you can be raised up from there and be a woman who is capable and skilled to do things. God saw you. God saw you. And he put the blessings, your blessings, he put them in the apostle and servant of God. This is why when we see the apostle and servant of God, well, when he is here teaching us, he doesn't teach us anything else, but he teaches us the kingdom of God because God gave him a message to say, you need to take these people to where you are. They must also have the blessings that I have put in you. They must be in them. And wherever we have gone in the nations, when he arrives, the people, some people will say, have you brought a new church here? I have heard him say, no, I have not brought a new church here, but I have brought what you don't have. You've got many churches, but I brought what you don't have. And you will hear him saying, because the message that I have brought to you is life. The message that I have brought to you is the message that will not make you to go merry go round. You are worshiping God, but you are still going merry go round. You don't see where you are going. You are going merry go round, merry go round. I have come to you to give you the life the message of the kingdom of God that will raise you up, raise you up so that you see, as you look back, you say, I was like this, but now I am like this, and now I am going like this, and now I am going like this. And as he says so, and, begin, and he says to them, if you can listen to me, and obey what I'm going to teach you. Within two weeks, you will see the change that is going to happen in your life. And I ha we have witnessed seeing the people who were very, very dirty, very, without any hope, but they were in church, some of them preaching in church, but they were not in the kingdom of God, but when they listened to the word of God that the apostle and servant of God was given by God to raise people from their poverty and bring them up, we have seen them changing. We have seen them changing. We have seen them and those being very clean, even brushing their teeth. But remember, they were in the church. They, they, they were doing things in the church. They were, some of them preaching, but they were dirty. We, we, when we arrived in Guyana, oh, you wouldn't look twice at the face of the people. And the apostle and servant of God said, if you listen to what I have brought to you, what God had sent me with to you. Within a week, you are going to be surprised when you look yourself in the mirror. 
Did it happen? Yes, it happened. It happened. We began to see the people. They are now clean. Where did they go? Did they go and buy new clothes? No. The same clothes, but the clothes are now clean. The same clothes, but they, they, because inside something has happened. The blessing of God is beginning to take place. They, they are changed. They, 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 they are brushing their teeth. They make their, nice, their hairstyle nice. They can even wear the men. You see them wearing good clothing. And yet they were not like that. Why? The blessings of God that is in the apostle and servant of God has penetrated in their lives. The same blessings that are penetrating in the people in Guyana, that have penetrated in the people in Belize, that have penetrated in the people in Trinidad, that have penetrated in the people wherever God has sent his apostle and servant, they are the same blessings that are made for you. The same blessings that are made for you. All you need to do is to listen to the teachings, receive the teachings, obey the teachings. And as you obey, you will see yourself coming from that poverty, coming out, rising up like others have done. I want to talk to that lady. For sure you are poor. You are not working. You don't have anywhere to touch. And sometimes you cry. And you say, Lord, I'm in this church. What is happening? I want to say to you, God brought you in this church because he wants to, he, he wants to change your life. But the miracle will not happen when you are not listening, when you are not obeying, when you are not doing what you are being taught, when you are not even praying. The miracle will not happen. The miracle happens when you listen to the teachings that you are being given in this forward in faith. The miracle happens when you allow the spirit of forward in faith to be in your spirit. When you allow the spirit of forward in faith which is the spirit that is in the apostle and servant of God, which is the spirit of Jesus Christ that is in him. When you allow that spirit to come into you, you will see your life changing. You will see your life changing. We have heard our father saying, if you come having one jacket. After six months, when you obey the teachings that we are giving you, you will not have one jacket. It's in the obedience of the word of God. In the obedience of the word of God. In the obedience of the teachings that we are being given. And we see ourselves changing. Hallelujah. We'll change. 
to the level of Lydia or even above that. We had a lady who was talking here yesterday. She said it's not in degrees. This is why I like this church. When we are here, you don't even see who is learned and who is not learned. Why? Because of the blessings of God that God has put in his servant for us. We stand there, you will only see that, oh, I am not learned when we, I open my mouth. Then you say, aha. Uh -huh. But if I don't open my mouth, you don't see anything. We look the same. We dress the same. And we are polished the same. I like what this lady said yesterday. I said it's for sure. And to, to, you know, to witness to that, God did not raise up a very degreed man to lead forward in faith. Forward in faith is his church that he put his apostle in seven. And his apostle in seven was not degreed, was not even learned. He only managed to, to, get, to have a chicken that he could sell so that he could go to school for how many years? Not many years, just to open his eyes. And that man, God chose to use that man and bring him to where he is today so that we can follow the example, so that I can say if God did this to this man, I also, when I fear God and walk in his steps, I will also have something that is in that man. I'm talking to that lady. I'm talking to you. You look back, you see everybody else is, power, is poor in your family. And everything that is surrounding you shows that you are full of poverty. And it doesn't even give you hope. Let me tell you, this is why this conference is here. This is why you came here. This is why we are telling you to live in the kingdom of God. We are inviting you to come into the kingdom of God. So that your life can be changed. Your life can be changed. It's not in degrees. It's not in good luck. It's not in the inheritance that was left by the parents. It's not in the money that was left by the husband. Maybe you didn't even have a husband. Maybe the husband died and never left anything for you. It's not in all that. It's not in all that. It is in obeying the teachings that are in this church. When you obey them and believe them and begin to walk in them, then you will see it happening. We have a lady in Harare. Her name is Pastor Eniza Keo. She's not educated. She, I we don't even know which grade she ended in. But when she received the teachings that are in this church, she began to use her hands. And she had a people whom she was employing. She started with nine, and the figure rose. But herself, not educated. We remember she used to hold her hand back, walking with her high-heeled shoes, and preaching, saying, 
I am a professor from Ezekiel Guti University before even Ezekiel Guti University was existing. I am a professor lecturing at Ezekiel Guti University. It was the Ezekiel Guti University of the spirit that changes the lives of the people. And as we are talking today, she has got three beautiful houses. Not learned. Not only that, she has got a car. She doesn't drive, but somebody drives her. And when you see her coming out of the car, you think she is a, a real professor from Ezekiel Guti University. She is not physical, but spiritual she is, because she is walking in the teachings that the Apostle and Servant of God is teaching us that God is saying, these are the people whom I want you to mold. They must come up to this standard. Yeah. And that is not for Pastor Enizakeo alone. It is also for you. It is also for you. I want to talk to that woman. This is why God brought you in forward in faith. He, he saw you. He saw you. What we need is to listen to the teachings that we are being given. Lydia listened to the teachings that Paul was speaking. And she believed and she never remained the same. She became very capable and skilled from listening to the teachings. Listening to the teachings. When we read in Philippians chapter 4, uh, verse 2 and 3, we will see that they were women who were in Philippi, whom I believe, because they, are, they were in Philippi, they must have been the same women who were meeting together with Lydia, praying by the riverside. And their names were Judea and Syndicate. We see Paul, these women, they were not ordinary women. They, it shows that they were women who were leaders in the church. But being leaders in the church, they were also together with Lydia, supporting Paul in his missionary journeys. We see Paul saying, you send help to me when I was going preaching, and nobody did that. You also send help to me when I was in Thessalonica and you did this, you did this, you did this. It means to say they were supporting Paul in his missionary journeys. This is why God sent Paul to them so that he could now have some people supporting him to go to Asia so he can preach the word of God. There was no way he could preach the word of God without the money. But what I have come for these women, we see that these women, these two women, they were there in the church, but they were fighting. They were fighting with one another. They were in the church. They were doing the work of God. But as women, they were fighting. They were fighting. I don't know whether you have seen it. When women are on their own. It's, 
it used to be in the past when there was a committee that was being selected that needed both men and women, you would see the women raising hands for the men and not for their fellow women. You don't do that. I'm just, I'm just pointing out the spirit that is in a woman if God does not take control. If they see some one one of them rising up, they they try by all means to pull down. I don't think that is there in your assemblies, but I'm just speaking so that Somebody is gifted, they become jealousy. Instead of encouraging, standing together, even emulating to say, I wish God can bring me to that point also. But they are there in the church. When it comes to giving, they give. When it comes to doing this, they do. But they are fighting among themselves. This is what uh, Sindike and Yudia were. They were supporting Paul because they were in the church of Philippi, which means that they were also doing something. But they were fighting. And we hear Paul saying, I implore you, dear, I implore Sindike to have the same mind of Christ. And he says, please, my companion, help those women. And he was mentioning all the people, who, the groups of people in the church to say, please, help those women who labor with me. Help them so they can have the same mind of Christ and not get busy fighting against themselves. Bringing down one another. It's the time to do the work of God. It's the time to stand up and carry the vision together with the apostle and servant of God. It's not time to fight one another. It's not time to discourage one another. It's not time to pull down one another. But it's time to encourage one another so as an army of God we can stand up. These women, they waited for Paul to send Clemens. You don't want a pastor to come. You don't have to wait for a pastor to come to say, hey, women, be, be in one mind with Christ. Let's help one another. Let's know that jealousy is not good among ourselves. When we see one of us coming up, Let's stand together with that person and say, yes, yes. Because as you do that, tomorrow it will be you. You, you might have nobody who sees you. But behind the scene, you are busy praying for that somebody who is rising up. And she doesn't even know that. She, when she looks at you, she looks down upon you, and yet you are carrying her on your shoulders. Don't give up. God sees you, and he will reward you. He will reward you. Syndicate and you, dear. Syndicate and you, dear. Syndicate and you, dear, be of the same mind. 
be of the same mind. Have the mind of Christ. Have the mind of Christ in you. We, we will see that the whole chapter that Paul was speaking to the church in Philippines, he was speaking about having the same mind, which I believe these two women, they were causing confusion in the church. That made people not to have oh, the same mind. But the women who have come here, who are seated in here, when they go back, they are not going to do that. They are not going to do that. They will be united. When they come for Tuesday prayer, they will come with all with one heart. And after finishing praying, they won't stand in cliques, backbiting, talking this, talking this. But they will just be praising God, talking about the sweetness of the prayer that they heard and what is happening in their lives and the word of God that they read, what God spoke to them through the word of God. The same mind in Christ. The same mind in Christ. For that is the thing that will make us to be capable and skilled that will make us to develop, that will make us to go forward, that will make us to have things happening in our lives, that will make us to come out of the poverty and see ourselves rising up, rising up, rising up, rising up, like this lady, Pastor Enizekeo. It's not in education. The burden that is in the apostle and servant of God, when we have come to the Lord Jesus Christ and we are born again, the burden that is in him is for us to walk in the kingdom of God. Because walking in the kingdom of God will make life easier for us. Because it is the will of God for us to be in the kingdom of God. It is the will of God. When we read in Luke chapter, chapter, uh, ch chapter 12, verse 32, we hear Jesus saying, Fear not, little children. It is your father's will. Father God's will for us to have, for him to give us the kingdom of God. For him to give us the kingdom of God. Now this kingdom of God is not just kingdom of God, kingdom of God. It is the kingdom of God that is spiritual. It is the kingdom of God that comes into our lives. That comes into our lives and we begin to operate in the kingdom of God. It is the kingdom of God that changes our lives. It is the kingdom of God that makes us, when we go before God, we are not crying to say, Lord, you see me, I am poor, I am like this, what can I do? And I'm crying because I am poor. But when we are in the kingdom of God, when we are in the kingdom of God, our lives are changed. Our lives are changed. Things become easier. When a woman is in the kingdom of God, the children even rejoice in the home. Because what is lacked, you find God doing miracles. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know whether we see it. The grace of God that has been bestowed upon you and I. 
to be in this ministry. Being under the feet of the apostle and servant of God. It's not for us to just believe God, get saved and go to heaven. When we are in our poverty. No. It's for us when we are saved, we experience the life of the kingdom of God for today. Not for the future, but for today. Sometimes we comfort ourselves and we say, okay, when I die, I'm not going to face all this. I'm going to have a better life. I don't have to wait to have a better life when I die. Because God has already brought the kingdom with Jesus. I heard our father saying one day, when Jesus was saying, repent for the kingdom of God has arrived. It shows us that Jesus with his disciples, they were walking in the kingdom of God. And if Jesus with his disciples were walking in the kingdom of God, he still needs us even today to walk in the kingdom of God. He wants you and I to be in the kingdom of God. He wants you and I to be a woman who is walking in the kingdom of God. He wants you and I to be a woman who is walking in the kingdom of God. He wants you and I to be a woman who is walking in the kingdom of God. He wants you and I to be a woman who when she turns back, she says, I was like this, but today I am like this. Last year, I was like this. And now, this year, I am like this. I was sleeping on the floor, but now, I am no more sleeping on the floor. I started sleeping on the mattress, but now, I have a bed. I was on that bed, that had a hole inside that was saved down. But now my bed is very comfortable. Why? I am in the kingdom of God working with my hands and I am able to have this. I am able to have this. I am able to have this. This is what it is about. It's not to wait for me to go to heaven. When I am born again, there and there, I have the future kingdom with me. What is left is when I come out of this body, I just enter into that new body in the future kingdom. But while I'm still in this body, on this earth, there is a kingdom of God that we have to experience when we are here. And I cannot experience it unless I listen to the word of God, obey and do what I am being taught. Because the word of God says the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but it is righteousness, the fear of God. Righteousness, the fear of God, 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 the fear of God. It doesn't say the fear of the pastor. It doesn't say the fear of man. It says the fear of God. 
which means to say whether there are people, whether there are no people, whether there is a pastor, whether there is no pastor around me, in the situation that is the way I am, I will stand as a woman of God who fears God. The fear of God. When I have the fear of God, it is the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. It is righteousness, which is the fear of God. Joy and peace were in the Holy Spirit. This Holy Spirit does not dwell in my flesh. The Holy Spirit dwells in my spirit. When my spirit has the Holy Spirit and I fear God, I fear God, I will have the righteousness, I will have the joy, the peace, the joy and peace in me. I will have it. This is what God wants us to have. He wants us to have these three things. Here on the book that our father wrote, we will see this, that the Holy Spirit led him to write. He says, the old gospel encourages us to remain in, the, in Christ in order to enjoy the kingdom of God in heaven. But we thank God for a revelation of the kingdom of God on earth. This kingdom of God is meant to be enjoyed by you and me right here on earth. It is for us to have a better life. The kingdom of God is the rule of God in our hearts. In our hearts. Why? Because God does not want us to come to him always crying, crying. The kingdom is the purpose and will of God. This is why when we read in Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, we hear this prayer that Jesus was teaching his servant, his, his disciples. He says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He taught them that I want to believe as we hear from our father that Jesus must have heard the father telling him that I want the kingdom of God to be or the kingdom, this kingdom that is in heaven to be on earth. Because the people whom I am going to take from the world, I want them to be in the kingdom of God. Because the world that is there, yes, the system that is in the world that is there is not my system. It is the system of the devil. It is the system of the devil that has got economic hardships, that has got poverty, that has got sickness. But I want my people whom I am going to rescue, whom I want to be in the kingdom of God. I want them to walk in the system of the kingdom of God and not in the, in the system of the kingdom of the world, but in the system of the kingdom of God. When others are saying there is no such, such a thing, we, the, we are in the kingdom of God, we don't see that. When others are saying life is hard, we who are in the kingdom of God, we don't see that. It's like we are in our own world. Yes, we are on our own world because we are not in this world. We are in the kingdom of God. Do you know that Goshen was in Egypt? And the children of God, uh, the children of Israel, though they were in Egypt, but they were in Goshen. When problems were happening in Egypt, Goshen never experienced those problems. But Goshen was in Egypt. When we dwell in the kingdom of God, because this is the purpose of God and it is his will that we be in the kingdom of God.
The kingdom of God is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven reveals where it is coming from. And the term kingdom of God tells us who runs it. It's God who runs it. Jesus who runs it. And this is what our father has been instructed by God so that we move into the kingdom of God. I, I, I'm saying to that woman, you are one of me. God brought you in forward in faith. Not for you to compare with others. To compare yourself with others. But God brought you in forward in faith. So he can change your life. Your life. Not others, but your life. So he can change you. So you can be in the kingdom of God. Are you hearing me? The women of South Africa. The women of South Africa. The women of South Africa. You might not have work job to do. You might be in poverty now. But this conference has been here for you. So that when you believe, when you believe the teachings that are here, you take them and you obey them and you walk in them. What you are today will be history. Don't compare yourself with your family. Don't compare yourself with where you were born. Don't compare yourself with your background. You are in the new place. You are in the new family where we are taught by the apostle and servant of God. Where we have to come out. Come out and begin to walk in the kingdom of God. From the day you were saved, you are standing at the door. The door of the kingdom of God. If I'm standing at the door, there's nothing that I will get that is inside here. I have to walk inside and begin to enjoy the things that are inside. And that happens when I obey the teachings. Don't get these teachings in flesh. Take them in the spirit. They are not things of the flesh. They are of the spirit. When you take them in the spirit, then they will begin to operate in the flesh. If you believe and if you have faith, these are the statements that you, our father said here. Before anybody spoke. If you believe and if you have faith. I, I, I have no time to compare myself with my family. If they are not walking the way I am walking. But I walk in the word of God. I listen to the teachings that the apostle and servant God are, is teaching from the word of God. Because he's saying, this is the way, this is the road, this is the way, this is what God has planned for you. From today, 
from today. From today. Let it be history. I know. I cannot jump. I cannot jump from here to here. But I begin to walk step by step. Step by step. Step by step. Step by step. step, by step. Until I see myself rising up, rising up. When somebody was talking here, I was saying, you are talking about my life. I only had shoes. During Christmas, not shoes, zonge, tennis shoes. They were called zonge. That was the best gift the parents could give. And I would wear them on a Christmas day. And after that, I would wipe them, put them back into the original box and keep them. Why, why, why was I keeping them? I was keeping them for winter so that I could keep my feet warm. If I wore them every day, they were going to be torn because they were not strong. And all, during winter, they will also get finished during winter. Then I wait for another Christmas. And if you look at my toes, I don't know about your toes, but if you look at my toes, you will see signs of stones that, that hurt my toes. Some of the toes, the, the, the nail is no more in good shape because of the wounds that I had from the stones. And uh, God had messed upon me. When I gave my life to the Lord Jesus, I had a lot of things that were surrounding me. Things of poverty. But when I listened to the teachings, I remember myself beginning to make or cook some fat cook, I don't know what you call them. Maguinya. And I was a trained nurse, a registered nurse, but I was poor. And I began to sell them. Sell them. And they would laugh at me to say, you, you, at that time we were supposed to be people who were earning a lot of money. But that money, I, I did not see where it was going. Because I was, I had the spirit of poverty in me. Then I would sell them and they would laugh at me. Where do you put all the money that you get? Why are you selling this? But I knew I needed that money. Some of the money that I was working, I knew what I was doing with it in the house of the Lord. But I needed more. And from Maguinya, you are hearing me, my lady whom I'm talking to? From Maguinya, I rose up to begin to knit with my hands. I would sit down 5 p.m. and by 3 a.m. I have finished the jersey. What is left is to join. I knitted the jersey that you would wear inside and outside. God gave me that wisdom or intelligence so that I could, in one jersey, I could have, I could charge that uh, 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 twice. And from there, I bought an old singer machine sewing singer machine that was very old and I would cut and sew and join the pieces and oh God had mercy you could get a trouser that would go like this but people would buy <laughs> and from there I when I came now I could not now need with my own hands, because I had no time. Time would not allow me to. There was no time of sitting 5 a.m. up to 3, 3, 3 a.m. 5 p.m. up to 3 a.m. 
because you were needed by somebody in the bed. And I was bought a single knitting machine that could not make rib. And I got a lady, a girl, a young girl, this is how Tandi way, if, if you know it, Tandi way, that's how she came into my hands. And I made her to be taught to, 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 to knit using that single bed. She is the one who first showed, say, God gave her intelligence in so much that she would know that the single bed can make patterns. And people even came to her to learn. And from the single bed, I went to the double bed. From the double bed, I went to the cardomatic. From the cardomatic, I went to the computerized. I would come here in South Africa when they were the, uh, the white ladies here, when they were uh, conducting their seminars on knitting and all those things. I would come here, come and learn, and after learning, go back and do it. And I saw myself rising up. There is nothing that I did not do. I cooked potatoes and I would sell potatoes. I, 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 I bought a popcorn machine and I would pop popcorns and make them to be bought. And they were bought. And a lot of things I did. But where I came from, I came from Maguinia. I came from Maguinia and I came into the peanut butter industry where I could even take my peanut butter up to Canada, uh, UK, and I remember selling the one bottle in UK for 150 pounds because people were, uh, what do you call that, auctioning, auctioning it. And because of the anointing, the anointing helped. Are you hearing me? Amen. And from that, I, I came to the uh, 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 pastry industry where I could now, I would rise up early in the morning, make uh, some donuts, and then go and sell them. Go and sell them until I had people who could now help me to make donuts because I had some machines for that. God just provided. And from there, I said, for how long will I stay like this? Because I was seeing the need that was in the work of God. I was seeing how the work was heavy upon his apostle and servant. I would, I would say, I wish I could have also money so I could, I could chip one side. And I had a preschool that is still running even up to now. I have three of them. And to tell you the truth, from all what I've been saying here, there's not a single day that we have enjoyed a cent from our preschool since it started. I am in the catering industry Thank God, our chairman of Zegu Council, he said, Mama, I want to be over that so I can supervise because he's very well versed in that. But all that, there's not even a cent that I have tested in our home. All is for the work of God. All is for the work of God. I, I, I have a, a, a mana, mana, that's mana, that's my company. Mana, I say my company, but it's God's company. When it is not moving, I say, God, here is your company. If you don't make it move, you know that in our home, we don't enjoy anything from mana. And that mana, it went to Zegu, because in Zegu, money was coming out, but there was nothing that was happening in the kitchen. The people who were there, they were unfaithful and they were taking the money. And when manna came, there was some change. And students are now eating. Before that, they were not eating there. They were going into the sand line to find some food. And yet they were supposed to eat in the university. 
and I am there in mana, I am there in Zegu, not because I'm having any profit from it, but working for the Lord. The little that comes from there, it is, goes to the people who are working. I, 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 I have a mana in the hospital. We are dockers. We are dockers. Money was coming out, but there was nothing that was happening in the kitchen. The cooks that were there, the chefs that were there, they were taking all the things, all the money, and the patients were suffering. And for the reputation of the hospital, I moved in, not because there was profit, there was no profit, but to rescue the hospital. And, and all that came because there was something that I could now use in order to go and help in the hospital. But if I had nothing, I would just sit and say, I wish, I wish, what are people doing? What are they doing like this? Why are they doing like this? But I am not doing so. I come in because the woman who came from Maguinya is now having a catering company. Recently, we took over the kitchen for deeper life. It used to be, those who go for deeper life, you know it. it you used to have men, people standing in, in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in the tabernacle saying, we are short of money, there's no food in the kitchen. Well, people are paying, but something, something, something is happening. I don't want to go into that. But when manna came in, no, you no longer hear people standing with their bucket to say, please, give us ndiro ndiro so we can go and cook. Why? I, God gave me the grace and I moved in. I remember the first time we moved in, we had no profit at all. But we said, as long as the people have eaten and they are happy, this is what we want. But anything that I get from there, there's nothing of me. All is for the Lord. Why, why, why can't I give you to the Lord? When you buy me dresses like this, why, 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 why should I take money from mana and buy a dress? Why should I? Why should I? But I started from Maguinya. And in the Maguinya, it was not just Maguinya. It was Maguinya practicing the kingdom of God, practicing walking in the kingdom of God, believing the teachings that the apostle and servant of God was teaching us. And now I want to say to you, my fellow woman whom I am talking to, do the same, do the same, do the same. Today, the Lord has helped me. I'm not bragging. You go to Mbuya Dokas in that kitchen that I'm talking about, the equipment that is there, who put it there? Who put it in there? There was no invitation in the church to say, please, let's gather the money so we can go and, uh, uh, and put equipment in the kitchen. There's equipment that when the Sheraton people came, they say, in our hotel, we don't have this kind of equipment. I'm not boasting, but I wanted to show you that when you listen, when you listen, when you listen to the teachings, there was an empty building that they call, oh, this will be the maternity wing. There was nothing, nothing. It was just a hollow thing. And the Lord, I like that lady who taught yesterday about giving, to say, when you do it for the Lord, giving is spiritual. And when you do it spirit to spirit, God will show you some things that he needs you to do. He showed me. And I said, can I open my mouth? To say, this is what God is saying to me. And I said, Lord, I cannot open my mouth. Just give me the money. 
Just give me the money. And I began to gather the money, little by little as it was coming, little by little as it was coming, until it reached $213,000. Not the dollars of the air, the real American dollars. <laughs> and uh, 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 when that happened, I approached now. I said, Baba, uh, the Lord is leading me to put equipment in maternity, in maternity week. The Lord, he's, he looked at me and he saw me. And I said, ah, okay, if the Lord is leading you, go ahead. I went to Buya Dokas and I said, please, doctor and uh, you, Metro, can you find out what is needed for us to have a maternity wing that has got a theater, that has got a, uh, a, 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 I see you. And they went to China. They came back and they said, Mama, this is what is needed for us to have this thing that is called maternity. It must have the theater, it must have this, it must have this, it must have... And I said, go ahead. And they went and they brought... Today we have maternity wing that is of first class. Yeah. Tell you, I'm not boasting or trying to show myself to you, but I, where I am going to, I'm saying, you woman, when we follow these teachings... It did not come because I am my guti. If I was my guti, who was not listening to the word of God and obeying and saying, oh, this is what is the, let me do it, let me do it, I would be a my guti who is just seated doing nothing. But it's for all us. You can, you can, you can. I came to where I am now, not in one day, but it was step by step, step by step, step by step. Step by step, step by step. And I'm still going. I'm still going. Recently, the Lord had been speaking to me for two years to say, Timbuya Dokas, we need another theater so that this one will stand only for those who are having cesarean sections. We need another theater that we call debt theater. And when the Lord blessed me, I say, he blessed me from the work that I have been telling you. He blessed me. And I approached the hospital. I said, how, how much do we need to have a, a, another second theater here? And then they Google. They say, oh, mama, we need something uh, like 76,000 American dollars. And I said, Quickly, quickly find where this machine is. Quickly, quickly. Here is the money. Here is the money. A woman who had nothing, a woman who had a spirit of wandering, a woman who would buy dress every month but buy oversized which she could not stay with, but send it home to the rural areas, that same woman, that same woman, when she listened like Lydia to the word of God and obeyed the teachings, see where she is now. I won't tell you what is next in my heart. I won't tell you, but I, I, there are things. Sometimes I say, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to, and when it is too much for me, I share with others, I say, I don't know, there is a need here, I don't know what you, can you do something here if you can? Because God is so faithful. He's very faithful. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I, 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 I was like, what you are? I'm, I'm talking to that woman. I was like what you what you are. I was like that. But look where I am. Oh, you buy me dresses. I didn't ask. I did not ask. Tell you what. I was in the UK for the conference. You saw me wearing those dresses. They came from somewhere. 
a suitcase full, and I had to wear them for the people, for, for, their, for the people, because they gave their note. And while I was there, they took me shopping. Ah. The whole day of Tuesday, and I was fasting. And I said, did I fast to come for shopping? They said, Mama, you cannot go without these dresses. Somebody, there's a couple that has sent money for you to have these dresses. And they bought me. How many were they? I can't remember them. There were many. Eighteen. I, I have not yet won them. And the apostles of the God was saying, why, why can't you change three times? I said, no, I can't. Why? Because my heart is not in myself when I discovered the kingdom of God that the apostle and servant of God is teaching us. And I began to rise up slowly, 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 slowly. I no longer think about myself but the work of God. And God thinks about me. dresses and uh, I was saying when am I going to wear them we stay in the bush you can't go into the bush with this you have to be like the people then you begin to, re- to, 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 to take them up slowly slowly well, well, that, but that's what God is doing to me that's what he's going to, that's what he is doing to me now the person who had one dress one dress, one dress. I was coming from where I was working at Morganster Hospital, and I had this one outfit that was uh, light blue. What they call, they used to call it crimblin, crimblin, something like that. And I would come as a girl. We go for youth on Saturday wearing that. And when we come back from youth in the evening, then I would wash it so that tomorrow on Sunday I can wear it again. And while we were still talking, drinking tea, uh, fellowshipping, I would uh, uh, hang it outside for the air to come in it. And when it was time for us to go to sleep, I would go and take it and put it inside in case the thief can come and steal it and have nothing. And in the morning, I would rise up very early in the morning and hang it while I am uh, tying upon myself a java, and it would dry except the hem. And then I would put it on. And while we were walking, going to church, I feel the revival center, it would dry on the way. By the time I reached to the, to the church, the hem is better now. It's no more as wet as it was. And by the, by, by the day, it would be dry. That same woman, that same woman, not because of intelligence, not because of education, not because of anything, but the kingdom of God, listening to the teachings that the apostle and servant of God is teaching, Having the spirit of forward in faith in me. It changed me. And so if it changed me, you too. You too. to go and try and look one. I said, no. Where is the God who has been giving me cars all these years? I refused. And you know what? We had gone for, for an explore in Shipinge. And when we came back, 
at the waterfalls. That's where we were staying. There was an executive, Black Benz, Mercedes Benz, that was packed. And the moment I came out of where I had, uh, 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 on the, what was it, a cruiser that way I had gone with, the driver said, Mama, there's something for you here. I said, what? Something for you here. Wait for Baba, he's coming. And Baba came. He said, this is your car. From where? God sent somebody with this. <laughs> Did you see that car? Where your VC was driving in? Yeah, that's my car that dropped from heaven. I am not talking theory to you. I am not talking theory to you. I am one of you. I am a woman like you. A woman like you. When we listen to the teachings of the Apostle and Servant of God, when I become a woman who fears God, when I become a woman who is a prayer warrior, when I become a woman who with the little substance that I have, I minister to the Lord, ah, this is what God will do. He will even do far above what he is doing to me. My fellow women, we are blessed to be in this church. We are blessed to be under this apostle and servant of God. We are blessed. We are blessed. Let's obey the teachings. Let's obey the teachings. Let's not waste time bickering one another, eating one another. No, it's no time for that. Let's obey the teachings. If I can see somebody who believed last month, but the life is changed. How about me? I've been here for many years. Why am I not changing? The secret is in fearing God. The secret is in walking in the kingdom of God. The secret is in believing, having faith in the word of God, having faith in the teachings that we are being given by the apostle and servant of God. Then we will find ourselves rising up. Yes, I was saying, this is not because of degrees. Yes, but degrees also, when you have achieved something like she was saying, you need to get the degrees. I have a PhD in religious. But you know what I said? I said, I want to do, biz uh, uh, to have a degree in business. And I'm a student at Zegu. I'm a student. I travel, I have my assignments. And uh, Baba was saying this time, when we get back, you need to go back to, to class now and sit down. I sat in class the first time, I sat there. And because of work, I had to go. But I, if I find time, I'll go and sit again and continue. I'm continuing while I'm moving. Why? I should say, no, I, why, why should I do this? No, I want to excel. <laughs> excel in the things of God. Excel even in the academic things. A woman. Are you hearing me, woman? Now, when we say, come for Tuesday prayer, 
Don't come dragging your feet. Come running. When we say let's do prayer, Ben, don't hide by the child. Take your child and come. When we are taught to use our hands, let's not sit on them and say, ah, let so and so do is their own thing. No! Participate, obey, and begin to do it. When we say read the word of God every day, don't say, why should I read it? I'm not preaching. The, the word of God, the kingdom of God, operates through the word of God because the things of the kingdom of God, they are hidden in the word of God. Then the Holy Spirit, as you are reading, will open your eyes to say, oh, there is this, there is this. Let's not see like we are being troubled. We are not being troubled. We are being equipped so we can be above. 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 All I was saying here was not boasting, but I was telling, I was trying to show you because if I just speak without showing you, then you'd say, oh, they're just talking. But ah, it's very true. It's very true. It's very true. It's very true. I, both take a shot. I want to be one of them who support the work of God. I want to be one of them. I want to be one of them. I want to be like Lydia. Lydia. I want to be like Lydia. I want to be like Lydia. Arabasaha. I want to be like Lydia. I want to be like Lydia. Uh, there is room for me to be like Lydia. Because Lydia was a woman like me. While she was a woman like me also, there is room for me. If I listen to the teachings, if I listen to the teachings, we see the apostle and servant of God. He has a very beautiful house that you bought him. I won't describe the inside of it. But he lives that. Not only that one house. Here he has two houses here. He has a very big modern car that you can tell to say, I don't know whether it is done, to say park, go into the garage, and it goes. But he lives all that. He lives all that at the age of 96. The man who has been preaching for 70 years non-stop the man who has got many great leaders under him. The man who has got such a vast church that God has put in his hands. But he leaves all that to go to the, to the one out of 99. Where he goes, they don't even know that he's a great man of God. They look at him like an old man who doesn't know why he has come here, what is he doing here. But he knows I'm carrying the kingdom of God that I am brought to change the lives of these people. And we have seen these lives being changed. Why should I remain like this? Why should I remain like this when others are changing? Why do, can't I believe the word of God and begin to follow and obey and do what I am being instructed? Why should I remain like this? Rabela Rikanda Harabo, Rabore Hari Araba, 
Rawera ria rahonda, rawera rito kaharada, rawera ria ora, ribera ria ora, robo robo kahena, rawota ria shamba. The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. It is the Father's desire. It is the Father's will. It is the Father's desire. It is in the heart of the Father to give us the kingdom, to give us the kingdom, to walk in the kingdom, to dwell in the kingdom, to dwell in the kingdom, to live in the kingdom, to speak kingdom, to breathe the kingdom, ah, to walk in the kingdom while others are crying because of economic hardship. Oh, I don't see it. Because I am covered, I am in the kingdom of God. Where when I want rain, God supplies. When I want this, God supplies. Using my hands, using my hands, like Lydia, who was a seller of expensive fabrics. Using my hands. Trading in whatever I am trading, but being in the kingdom of God and God blessing, God blessing, God blessing. We saw, we saw an example yesterday. We saw the products that were being made by our fellow women. Why should I remain behind? Why should I remain behind? More boraha, more boreke rabo, ribora te rabo re thanda, ribola ria thanda na riboshika na, jaumbe na rika thaba bahai, shawembe ke na ria tata, rakete la rita kahonde, tariwe sheke na ribona. I cannot go back the same. 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 The brother and servant of God said, according to your faith, according to how you believe, according to your faith, according to how you believe, according to your faith, according to how you believe, according to your faith, according to how you believe, Ribo Shakaba, Ribo Reketaba, Rabeke Fetela Rabohan, Rebo Tekela Rabaha. Rakete la rabo teke dambo, shapepe la rita ndoro boraha, rawe la ria ndoro boshambe, rikere re la ria tape la rita nambo, rawe la ria rete na rabo, rapepe la ria ndara basha mahande, rikwele la ria ndoro boshimanda, rikete te la rata ndo, rapepe la rito ko enda kahi nambo, shibonda kaya na bashambe, nikone enda ria boho, niwe la ria ndoho. Open my eyes, open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my heart, 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 Lord. Open my. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see, Lord God. Open my eyes to see, Lord God. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Father God. Open my eyes, Lord Jesus. 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 Open my eyes. 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 
open my heart open open my heart open my heart open my heart open my heart to heed to heed the things that you are teaching me to heed the things that your servant apostle is teaching me to heed them to heed them ah and obey and do them rabo rabo rabaha rabo rabaha rabo rabahanda rebo regetete rabata rebegete rabo shakamba rebo korenda ribo rashamba ha regetete na rataka ha rebebebe rarata regetete na rata rebetete keraka hande i can never be the same 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 sitting under such great men of God I can never be the same I can never be the same Lord God ribonda rabasha rabereta riboreketa rawe pariando riberere ratata raketete na rataha riboshikanda baha raketeta ratanda rebela rikasaha in the name of Jesus 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 it's my time to arise 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 rabosha to arise from where i am sitting ah rabababa rabababa it's my time to arise ribekete rasha Rakela ratata rakela baba 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 raketete na raborosha rekenderere boroto koshika kuretela rabaraka taka ribebebe na rataka robobobobobo baba shaka rebela riando rikwenerera raboraka taba riberera ritaka ba reketete na rataka henda ribolela ratanda riwela raboko shinda rikenela raboka naga hone woreta liborana ha o rababa baba riya mashamba he rikwerendere riboroshane rimandora riboraka saka hana rakorendera rabarata ha riboreketela ritoto kode ketaka shinda kuriendere naboko seketa kadana ba riberekeketela koraka saka hasha riborera rabahana rerere rarara rerere rarara rikendela ratata kahane riketete na ratata there's great treasure there's great treasure in this church there's great treasure in this church there's great treasure there's great treasure there's great treasure from the teachings that we are receiving there's great treasure there's great treasure i need to listen i need to obey i need to obey and begin to do it i need to obey believe it 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 laboretete raborata tata reborete ke takarato rebete ke rarata believe it believe it riborata ka ha rebete ke rakata ha rabebebe rarata ha reketete na rata riboshege na rabota rakwete na ratota ha rabola riando rabobobo rikonde na rata ka he waramoto ko ya re le 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 riamoko shamando ribela ratata ha rakere ta ratata obobobo ratata rikere re ratata o bo 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 ra ha o ra ra ba ka 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 ha ne ra bo re ke te ke ra ba ha wa ri be la ri a ta ha sha be me la ri ta ndo ri ki na ba sha ma ndo ri e pe pe ri e pe pe la ri e pe pe la ra ta ha cry and to go cry and receive 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 ribona raba ribona rigenda ribona riabahando ribona ratakahande 
Riborege tete rando. Ribora andara bara baba. Rikandore le lebo. Shimende na raboka hande. Ribone da raboshi ando. Eh. Shikamba enda. Shikamba anda kahene katutuna. Ribona ratata kahene kahene. Rake hende kataka henda hone. Unda kahena raboreteka. Wombe mbela rataka hende. Kuna hande kahina ka. Wombe hena kataka hone. Riba honda kahende kahinda. Ukande hena kuhende kaha. Ando hae, ando hae, ando hae, ando hae, ando hae. Ribo kaha, nebo kehenda kahe. Ribo kahenda kahena. Regete kehenda kanatu. Regenda kahina kate. Regete tenata. Regete tenata. Regete tenata. Something is happening. Something is happening in the spiritual realm. Something is happening in the spiritual realm. There's a shift. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening in the spiritual realm. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening in the spiritual realm. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. Ribatata. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening in the spiritual realm. There's a shift that is happening. Rabatata. There's a shift that is happening for the woman in South Africa. There's a shift that is happening for the woman in South Africa. There's a shift that is happening for the woman in South Africa. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening for the woman in South Africa. There's a shift that is happening for the woman in South Africa. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening for the woman in South Africa. That is happening. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. God is doing something now. God is doing something now. God is doing something now. There's a shift that is happening. Where there's a shift. There's a shift that is happening. There's a shift that is happening. Rabba ba 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 ba. There's a shift that is happening. Wa rabba ba. There's a shift. There's a shift. There's a shift. Rabba ba ba ba. There's a shift that is happening. Rabba ba 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 ba. There's a shift that is happening. Wa rabba ba. There's a shift that is happening. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. There's a ship that is happening. Oh baba ha. Rabo na rabo ha. Rabe be be na rata. Rabe kete na rabo. Be 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 na rata. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. A ship is happening. Oh rabo baba. A ship is happening. Rabo kaya. Rake tete. Rate tete na ra. Rake tete ta. Oh rabo baba. Ore be 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 be, rika ya ta ta, re be 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 na ra, re ke te na ba, re ke ta ba ba. Di bo she be be be, she be 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 be, she be 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 be, she be 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 be, she be 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 be, she be 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 be, she be 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 be, she be 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 be, re be 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 be. Receive that shift, receive that shift, receive that shift, receive that shift, receive that shift. Receive that ship. 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 Shaka daka daka. Rabe be be ba ba ba. Receive that ship. Receive it. Receive it. Receive that ship. Rike te te ra. Rike te te ra. Receive that ship. 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 Baba baba baba. Receive it. 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 Shaba baba. Rege te te ra. Rata ta e. La 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 la. The angel of God is here. The angel of this church 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 is here. Riba ba 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 ba. Benakata ta. The angel of this church is here. Rikata ba ba. 
the agent of this change is here. 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 The Wobaha, Rabebela, Ratata, Rabebela, Riatata. There is a shift that is happening. The angel of this church is here. Ribaba haya. Rebebebe rata. Rakeke rarabo. Riababa raha. Rabebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
Shkoregeta, Raboregeta, Raboregeta, Shada. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for that shift. We thank you for that shift. For that shift that is happening. For that shift that is happening. We thank you. 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 We both shun it. We both get at it. Rabbit get at it. Shabby baby Rabbanaba. Rabola Rabba. Rabola Rabba. Rabola Rabba. Rabola Rabba. We both get at it. Rabosha. Rabbit Rabba. Rabodera Riboregation. What will the Rabodasha? Now we bear the Rabata. Rabodegate la Ritata. We thank you. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. For you are worthy of all that place. You are worthy. You are worthy. Father God, we thank you. 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 Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's by faith. It's by believing. It's by faith. It's by believing. It's by faith. It's by believing. 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 We can go back to our places. Let's go back to our places. Shabbat Agata. It's by faith. It's by believing. A shift has happened. A shift has happened. To go Shabbata. Shall we be better Rajan? To do to Narathana. Shaky Narathana. Don't drop what you have received. Don't drop. Don't drop down what you have received. Don't drop down what you have received. We don't drop down. Guard your mouth. Guard your mouth. Guard your mouth. Don't drop down what you have received. Shabore beta. Shaku beta ribata tata ho. Shike pepe rata nda ho shinde. O rabaka taka taka yada. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We exalt your holy name for who you are. We exalt your holy name. Shibora tata he. Raboko teke la karute la. Shawe be la rikata nda he shinda. Tuwe la rakata pepe pena. Warabush ke begete na. O rabe be la rata nda he. O kona rata nda he. O rabababababababa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ.